Welcome back to another episode of Ficker Collecting for Dummy. Today, we will take a look at Damn Toys' release of Assassin's Creed. The Assassin's Creed that started the whole franchise. Besides Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft also released another game called The Division. And this year, they released The Division 2. I'm looking forward to that. Hope to see you guys in the Dark Zone. I would say they did a decent job on the head sculpt, considering in the game, he has hit hold up most of the time. In terms of the articulation, I say it's pretty good, nothing spectacular. Uh, you have the standard neck joint for the head sculpt. However, this is a hard neck, so you do not have neck articulation. The standard for the elbow and the knee joints. However, he is wearing layers of clothes and the belt. Thus, it might hinder the articulation on the upper torso. Furthermore, he is wearing a muscle uh, rubber, rubber muscle suit underneath. It gives you a better shape and definition of the body. However, it also restricted the articulation somewhat. And furthermore, his lens cannot lay straight down because of the rubber suit. On the first batch, the hood was not sewn properly, as in the left side. However, 
Dam Toys immediately make an announcement to ask the people to contact the distributor for free replacement. Kudos. For the accessories, we take a look at the hand shapes. There are eight hand shapes this time. The right hand is ungulfed. You have the sword holding hand, the normal relaxed palm. Also note, they take the attention to paint the knuckles and the fingers. You can see, it does not paint the whole thing skin tone. Some nice details. It's the fist. And then there's the left hand with the glove. You might note the missing finger because in the game, he has to uh, activate the wrist bait to kill his enemy. In doing so, he chop off his finger as well. So he is missing finger number 10. I would say this is one of the best diorama base I've ever seen. It's got a good heft to it. You got the nameplate, Assassin's Creed, and then you look at it. They actually build a model of the brick, and then with the fungus growing in between. Very nice paint details and application. It's amazing. I just love it. Two thumbs up. Next, we look at the swords. Of, co of course, we have the sword, the main weapon in the game. And then you got a shield. Some nice details, all made of plastic. You have clip on and some details on the other side. However, you might notice that the sword does not go all the way down. Because the shape of the handle doesn't match the edge of the shield. So you might have to do some modification work to make it work. Then we have the dagger. Very nice stylish details in color. Then we have the throwing blades. They have four large ones and five tiny ones. All painted silver with the nice details. We use it in the game to kill a distance from afar. All amazing details. And last we have the wrist play. This time they changed the design to do a switchable instead of the extending. So it has its pros and cons. But still pretty nice detail. As you can see you can step off and step on to change the blade. Okay, time to kiss some ass. As I'm absolute fanboy of damn toys, the pricing and their offering are very competitive. Their scope is extremely diverse, ranging from military, video games, comic styles, and others. They also take the time and effort to develop each figure from scratch, starting with each piece of accessory, as you seldom see them use recycled parts. And last, their final product is very identical to their prototype, thus you don't have anything to worry about. Having said that, I have a few nitpicks for this figure, as I wish they did more on the custom weathering. And, the articulation does not fully allow me to recreate some scenes from the video game. Well, guess I need some modification work. So, if you are a fan of this series, definitely worth the purchase. Furthermore, Damn Toys will also be releasing Assassin's Creed figures from other versions, and I'll be looking forward to do unboxing for you next time.